What's up, Internet? Jason Angus of Big Jason Stream Fitness. Today is the 30th of January, 2012. And thank you guys again so much for your support on my last series, Bodybuilders Contest Prep. We are moving on to the new series of Strongman Training with Strongman Seth. And guess who we have tonight? Our special guest, Strongman Seth. Hey! Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> guess what? Oh, what is this? That is a... Uh, Atlas stone. Uh -huh. um, some people call them the manhood stones. Yes, yeah, right. for a good reason. But and how much does it weigh? Uh, that one's 330. 330 pounds. Yes, okay. Sir. Usually you'll save it for, uh, let's say you're doing an, a full day of strongman events on a Saturday or something. Okay. Stones are always the last event. So if you have a full day of training, always make stones last. Today it's a Monday, not a typical uh, full day of events. So we're just going to kind of hit it singularly in the gym and see how it goes and then why are we training just stones today you did a little bit of chest already you're kind of incorporating it into some of your actual bodybuilding type like routine yeah and that's all we're doing today is a stone yes and how many more days are we going to train strongman said um we'll probably train two or three more days this week and i'll try to incorporate a few little things in during regular weight training uh -huh. and then we'll hit it real hard on saturday awesome for our event medleys and things like tire flip and stuff that you can't bring in the gym awesome i can't wait to do that brother here we go <laughs> All right, what are we doing here, straw man? Uh, this is tacky. Uh -huh. You know, everybody's gonna be like, "Oh, it's cheating! It's cheating!" But this is what professional straw man. Cheating! Is cheating! <laughs> I so have lifted this stone dry with no uh, no tacky at all and chalk. But you can't get any reps out of it, or I can at least. So, in order to get your reps out, you got to put something a little bit sticky on your fingers to get you that grip. Um, every professional straw man does it. Every amateur straw man does it. Awesome. So that's the way it is. Awesome. Um. Your two different types of stone events are usually stone on a box or stone over bar. Uh, the contest that I'm training for right now is stone over bar, which it really doesn't incorporate a lot of pushing the stone up onto a box. Uh, so instead of just training with a bar, we're just going to be taking it up and setting it down, and that kind of mimics the bar. So that's why we're doing what we're doing. Nice. Yep. Come on. <laughs> yep. Nice. One more. Come on. Up. Nice. Good job. Thumbs up. All right, Atlas Stone 330. Let's go, Seth. Oh, I thought that was a stone, dude. <laughs> All right, here we go, Strongman Seth. Second set of three. 330-pound Atlas Stone. Here we go, big man. Yeah, come on now. Up. Oh. Yeah. Come on now, get it. Up, up, good. Nice, come on, one more. It's all you, big man. Come on. Come on, let's get it. Up, good. Nice. How do you feel, brother? <laughs> Okay, so Strongman Seth, you just completed your second set of three repetitions. Now, you jumped right into 330-pound Atlas Stone. Is there anything you do, besides what you, the little stretching and the benching that you did before, is there anything that you could do before you jump onto that 330 pounds? Well, if you're lucky enough to have a full set of stones, <laughs> you should probably do the lighter stones first. Right. That just shows how freaking strong you are, man. You're getting so much stronger training up here, doing the bodybuilding routines and the high reps and the nutrition. I'm really, really, I'm impressed with the strength. Two sets of three with 330 pounds. Now, do you have any other stones at home? Uh, I've got another one. And how big is it? It is right at a little over 300. Yeah. A little uh, bit lighter than this one, you're saying? A little bit lighter. Yeah. It's a little bit more grainy. 
Uh, so unless, easier to grab. Yeah, unless you get a professional to make one that's just perfectly smooth. And real quick, how do you make that? You made that yourself, right? Yeah, um, you can buy a stone mold okay. from uh, Slater's Hardware. Yeah. And uh, Is it Slater? Slater's. Slater's, like okay. DC Slater. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> and uh, you dig a hole in the ground. Dig a hole in the ground or get a stack of tires. Right. Fill it up with concrete, shake it out, fill it up, shake it, fill it up, shake it, let it dry. That is your stone. Hey, great job. Are you going to do a third set? Uh, yes. It may not be three, but... Awesome. Okay, so if these guys are wanting to get ready for a straw man competition and there's a stone lift and they don't have the rocks or the stones or a means necessary to help train, did you say what could they use now? Um, they've got things called stone trainers that uh -huh. um, it's basically like the end of a barbell. Okay. Just sliced off. This little piece right uh, here from Yeah, here a little out. bit shorter. You can uh -huh. load you a couple hundred pound plates on there. Right. Um, and just mimic the stone motion, pulling from the ground. Like a bear hug lift. Like a bear hug, pulling straight up from the ground, resting in your lap, and exploding up. Awesome idea, Seth. And then there was something you said about dumbbells as well. Yeah, I mean, if you don't have that, just go to your gym. Let's say your gym goes up to 150 pound dumbbells or 200 pound dumbbells. Right. Set them straight up, grab them in your arms like this. Right. That way. Sit down, touch the ground, stand up. Bend down, touch the ground, stand up. It's a fantastic anything idea. Anything mimics, you know, dirt your squats. Right. Mimic a stone, uh, anything like that. Now, what about big boulders outside that weigh 100, 150, 200 pounds? Is that going to be a good idea, too? Absolutely. I mean, nothing is quite like an atlas stone except exactly. for an atlas stone. Exactly. But any kind of stone lifting, any heavy lifting uh, in front of you from the ground, safe. Safely, obviously, is always going to be a good choice to mimic the stone. Excellent. Third set of three. Here we go, Strawman says. Let's get it. All right. Show him some intensity. Oh, yeah. One. Here we go. Oh, too good. One more. Third repetition. Up, up, good. Now that was your third set of three, and are we done? Or we have a whole lot more to do. That's it. That's it for stone lift Don't tonight. Don't want to overtrain on stone. I hear you. Good job. We'll close out. Okay, so like you said earlier, uh, after you did your third set of three, do not overtrain. So, so we're done training tonight, That's right? It. Now, of course, I didn't do any of this training because I just, I didn't feel that I was up for the challenge, but definitely the next few medleys I'll be available for that. Now, talk to us real quick about what we're going to do next. Um, next, we're going to kind of go into just a couple more different strongman workouts coupled with our regular gym workouts, and nice. then maybe we'll do one full strongman training video. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I just want to say thanks to Jason because he's the one that got me into strongman. He's the one that pointed me in the right direction, and he's the one that kind of continuously keeps me going. So there's a lot of other guys out there that are a lot stronger than me and strongmen. A lot of other guys' channels you can watch, but this is kind of me and my journey. So thanks awesome. a lot. Awesome. And Seth, I want to say thank you for remembering that. I forgot I pointed you in that direction, but you have done. He has done the best. I'm talking to you and him. He has done phenomenal with his training, getting ready for the strongman events. I just showed him the right way to go, and he's taking it to the competitions, gotten bigger, gotten stronger. Now he's training with me. I'm just real proud of him, and I'm real proud of you guys for supporting him. And uh, I can't wait to do the strongman medley that we're going to do later on during the week. Uh, and there's a couple of other workouts we're going to do, and I'm, I'm really excited about this series, guys. Uh, remember, Tissy Rules, train hardcore, and we'll see you next video.